Hello, welcome to Airing It Out. I'm Josh. And I'm Jonas. And this is Jerry. Jerry. And today we're coming to you with a shorter video. We're experimenting with smaller, smaller videos. Um, and this is how we're going to do it. So we're just talking about one film. It's an excerpt from our podcast that we did yesterday, which exactly. if you want to watch the whole thing, you can find it down below. We talk about three different movies. But this time we're only talking about one. Yeah. I think that's everything I said. Think, yeah. I think that's it. We won't keep you because this is meant to be short. So we will just get right on to it. But we watched Tropic Thunder. We did. <laughs> that was such a, such a, you went to, to present it, but also with very limited energy. No, no, we watched uh, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, which. I had no idea what I was in for. I can't believe you've not caught it yet. So this is another film that was on my. I don't know where I would have caught that. Though. I don't know. It's like, I mean, it came out right around the 2008, 2007. Yeah, but it definitely know. didn't come out in German cinemas or anything. Really? Yeah, I, I was one of those films sure. as, a, as a kid. Like, I, like, is that and Son of Rambo were two films that were just everyone seemed to have. And you just always watched Oh, friends. no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> well. No, definitely not. What did you think of it then? It was funny. It was, it's like, I mean... It's certainly a film that you could not make today because it has very, let's say, controversial things going for it. Um, obviously, the blackface is the biggest thing where I'm like, danger. Mm -hmm. um, I gotta say, Robert Downey Jr. acts so brilliantly, though. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, it really is crazy. Um no, but I, I especially like the opening, because I can, like, what I thought of is sitting in a cinema and literally not knowing if it was the commercial still playing or did the did the movie start already. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a shame that the actual, um, like, clips of the, the production companies bad, uh... are distinct, so you can tell that this is different to the ones before. It would be even cooler if they just had it as fast as the ones before, like, as rudimentary. Yeah. Um, but then I I guess they couldn't have the full-length ones beforehand of, like, Continent Universal or yeah. uh, 20th Century Fox, but because they just wouldn't get the right side. <laughs> There's no way they can be like, yes... Uh, here's universal. all the production companies yeah we're gonna make fun of all of you and we don't want to pay you yeah i wonder if they for that they stuff. didn't have to cough up to use those logos probably a little bit yeah it's interesting although they must be like even though they are competitors they must be like this will be funny yeah or like they i mean they must have each other in their in their like contacts and be like you know oh, let's definitely. meet up for like a a drink and uh, is it cool if I do that and they would probably be like you know what it's cool um, at least I hope so yeah. it'd be cool to have like the big big studio bosses be be, be buds buds yeah <laughs> oh, man. No, I think it's I think it's a brilliant film about yeah. filmmaking essentially um, I I do think it's a shame that films like that can't be made I mean that film is only 10 years old and a bit I guess the kind of humor is just not funny anymore because people are but that's not true because the film is still funny yeah it's just not allowed to be funny anymore yeah certainly I think that's for me anyway an issue yeah no I mean it's, it's definitely it it is really a thing of like you can't make that joke meaning it is a joke but it is censored or it should be censored um, and that, yeah, I don't know if that's, that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it definitely depends on the situation and the film knows that it is venturing like dangerous territory. They definitely yeah. call it out on that as well, which, um, is very, very important because if, uh, if you ever want to do risky stuff, you kind of have to show that you are aware of the risk that you're taking. Yeah. Um, so it's not just like I'm ignorant and I haven't considered the the effects of what I, my yeah. actions could have. Yeah, I think if um, you had an actor in blackface just just, to just as is, yeah. then you got a problem. But yeah. to have an actor acting an actor mm. in blackface, mm -hmm. I, I think they, for me anyway, I have no, no issue with it. And, and they the make whole, a lot of jokes. At yeah, it, I mean, the whole point is 
it's for him to be like method acting and taking it to an extreme that is not okay and that's why he's being called out by the uh other black actors like this is not you can't just you, the, the, no <laughs> yeah, i think there's some amazing funny lines that come off of that though that yeah like there's a lot of jokes there mm. that i think it's a shame that we're not treated to in, in a world yeah. where i personally like i find comedy a really hard genre to get right mm. uh, i think there's so much bad comedy yeah that when something long like does come along and you go like that's hilarious um obviously humor is subjective so if you find crap comedy good good for you Mm -hmm. um i'm not blessed with such low standards um so it really depends on what you count as crap comedy i know that wasn't like top tier filmmaking at all no no no. (laughs) but i think for me it's all dialogue Uh uh-huh i need dialogue to be funny yeah um and yeah. there's definitely funny dialogue in that film. Mm. And I think it's a shame that so many of those jokes now are taboo. Mm. Um, or even like uh, Life of Brian, mm-hmm. um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Like, Monty Python sold shtick. Um, I find very funny, but there's a lot of stuff there that they did that you just can't do anymore. Mm. Um, and I think that's a real shame, because I know those films are classics, and people rewatch them, and people still find them funny. Mm. But you just can't make that today mm-hmm. and i don't know for me that's a, that's a shame yeah i mean you just have to i think you could still do it but you would have to show that you're aware of it and you would probably get a lot of backlash that you would then have to be like look guys um i will happily discuss it explain it um in order to make you see that i have thought this through um and if you still don't like it then that is your subjective uh take on it um yeah no i I do think you can do it but it is more risky um and you would have to justify it even better today um i think it's interesting that it's not a necessarily film on filmmaking i think it is it is a film on like a commentary on how serious people take the filmmaking business Yeah. Yeah, yeah um so you have a lot of actors that view themselves as super top tier, high class, uh, big shot actors. The same goes for the producers or agents. Um, and I guess what that also entails is the whole method acting or like method of like living living the the act shouldn't uh, rather than acting itself um i guess that's the whole premise of the film being like yes we're we're gonna drop them in the jungle with actual uh Viet Cong, <laughs> which aren't Viet Cong, uh but like um the whole thing is that it is real and not acted um and that is quite that is quite funny because it's just it's just not how things are but I guess it also like it, it definitely comes from from uh, a period of time where things were getting too serious for what the genre actually was. Like if you're if you're saying like Rambo, which they were definitely quoting in a way or ridiculing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the, they're taking these action films that are ridiculous but just action heavy, and they're taking themselves too seriously. Mm. Like that it's funny how serious they think their Rambo film is. Yeah. And that's what what um, that film does really, really well. Yeah. And he even broke fun at, like, the whole true story thing as well mm-hmm. with um, Four Leaf, who's like, I'm a true patriot, though, and you're like, well... Because <laughs> uh, there are so many, uh, especially American patriot films, mm-hmm. military, and you're like, I don't know how true this is. Yeah. It's like, okay. Um, yeah. So it's, it's nice they kind of poke fun everywhere. Um, no, I think that's also very important to be like, right, we're going to poke fun at a lot of things and that w- kind of makes it okay to be poking fun at certain things because we're not just poking fun at that. Like, yeah. it's it's not picking on one kid, it's picking on all the kids. <laughs> yeah. Which, to some people, that still doesn't make it okay. But it certainly... Uh, uh, for me, it gives you a free pass. Well, I mean, it's definitely not... You, you 
circumvent the whole thing of like you are biased against this one thing. Yeah. Um, no, and especially considering this was obviously I think Ben, ben Stiller, mm -hmm. who is an actor, directed, produced. So to make fun of actors, directors, and producers, it's like, well, sure, of course you get yeah. permission to do that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I like that he's having fun with himself, and that's quite clear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I do just think it's kind of a, a shame when people criticize that, and you're like, well, this is, if anyone can make fun of oh, producers, yeah. it's the producer of a movie. You yeah. know, like, I don't well, think that's I the mean, only person that should be able to do that, but... Like, if anyone can do it, it has to be them. Yeah. Um, no, it should. It should. That That's also the whole point of humor, I think, is, like, can you laugh at yourself? Yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm yawning away. I got yeah. way too early. So much for not being tired anymore. <laughs> I never said that. I said we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. No, I think that film was quite uh, enjoyable. Think about where you're going to put it once you've snapped it. Quickly and quietly. You ready? I'm ready. Hello, welcome to Airing Out. I'm Josh. And I'm Jonas. And this is Jerry. Jerry. And we are experimenting with our new shorter video format. So this is an excerpt from one of our Airing Out podcasts. The latest airing it out of the years now, which is just talking about one film. So everyone always says our videos should be shorter. So this is how we're going to try it. Yes, we've talked about three films in the long version. You're probably going to find the link to that longer video in the description below. below. So if you want to see all of it, go watch that. But if you're only interested in this one video or only have a little bit of time on your hands yeah, because you're you busy watch now, this. Anyway, watch this. We shan't keep you. Enjoy. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were doing the whole like turning thing, like the let's <laughs> he just walked the into position. It. <laughs> Shall we do it again with like we're both turning? Yes. Okay, let's Idiot. do it. Idiot. From the start, you, you gotta clap keep again. Keep recording. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> it was I like the, the whole thing. I kneeled the chair. Idiot. Right. 